So let's welcome our special guest today, the distinguished Safal Sharma, a musical expert, Ravist. It's like the Russian instrument. And also Silas Costa, he's a musician and also a producer and guitar player. Hello, everyone, and good morning. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to both of you. And this is an excellent instrument. And uh, uh, what I said at the beginning, it looks like a turtle's back. Turtle's back, <laughs> yep. And even we call it a UFO instrument. So okay. It looks like a UFO, Steph and I. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah. it, it really looks like a UFO, doesn't it, Abdelaziz? <laughs> and also, we are not satisfied. We have to play more later. But first of all, we're eager to know you more. So, Safal, I see you are very expert in this instrument. Mm -hmm. But people always want to know in the beginning from the scratch. Yeah. What about your music background? Music background is like, uh, in my back home, I got my aunt, she used to be the vocal teacher. Nice. So we used to have all kind of uh, Indian classical instrument, like a sitar, tabla, harmonium. We have like, you know, the instrument which is produced there, which we call sarangi. It's uh, like, because uh, the place I'm from is like in the northeastern India. It's near to the Nepal, to the border, to yeah. the Bhutan. So, you know, the mixed nationalities over there and the taste of different tastes of instruments. So... And in the, in the beginning, like, as I mentioned, like, my, I'm from Darjeeling, so mm -hmm. we used to say that since the beginning, like, since I was young, if you hit the stone over there, the stone either hit to the photographer or the musician. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's like everything with one stone. Yeah, so together. It, like, lots of talents over there, you know, and I'm very thankful for myself. I grew up in that place, yes. um, and slowly, slowly, I came to with the guitar. I, first, my instrument was a guitar, nice. and I played guitar. Then I turned into something, like, I played for a six years, seven years, then I come with the... Ravas, which is like, you know, as you know, the sound, it's so healing. It's so healing. Yeah, and it's all. like a, a th therapist right here. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is therapies, smooth. Therapies. And the sound is really smooth. It calms us down. And how about you, Silas? I, uh, I know that you're a composer and a guitarist. What instruments do you play as well? <laughs> well, for me, it started all uh, in school with uh, rock music. So naturally, I picked up the guitar. And uh, from then on, I explored a little bit of every instrument because I used to work in a musical uh, shop, uh -huh. lots of different kinds of instruments, a little bit of piano, keyboards, drums. So I got the hang of a lot of different types of instruments. Uh, when it comes to the drums, it's not as good as that, though. <laughs> it's something else. But yes, and that helped me to uh, come up with more production techniques uh -huh. and make my own music, to have a perspective of different instruments, how they gel well together. So... I'm a producer, as well as I mix music, I record it. So it's, it's really a good feeling to have something to do this uh, as a passion, as a part-time. Yes, as a passion. And this is the music is what else than a passion, I realize. And also it's a universal language. But uh, in the beginning, I already noticed how they are the sync between you two. So, Safal, how, how did you meet each other? I know nothing happens for the coincidence. Maybe sometimes coincidence, like it means. So mm -hmm. tell me more about your stories. It was like uh, I used to play the instrument in the yoga over here, yoga even. And like I was doing a music therapy over there, people lying down, what we call as Nada Yoga. Yeah. And like he, he came like with his friend and, that, and you know that time he come to me and he int we introduced to each other. Like, nice. 
do you play you play good music he, he told me like that and i was like yes do you play the music and mm. he's like yeah i'm a producer i do music nice and oh let's catch up you know why not we catch up and i went to his home he got a little studio over here now and we create a one uh, track it's called a spell mm. it was like what's a coincidence like we just played we recorded we don't practice and it sounds really really nice mm. how long it uh, that was that time when you met each other It was like three years, three, three, three years, years, three years, three years ago. Yeah. That's why they have too many sync to each other. Like everyone have his own beats, and then yes, <laughs> indeed, and they can listen to each other mm. without even speaking, without yeah. any word. So Silas, you produced that one track. It's called the spell, right? Yes. So how did you come to the music, and at the same time, a spell? Normally, when it comes to uh, writing or producing, it's it's fun when you're collaborating with someone. And uh, with Safal, it was quite natural because uh, when we uh, play together, there's this synergy, especially with instruments like this. It's difficult to plan things ahead, so we have to see how it comes up on the spot. So that's what Spell was about. We met at my place, we jammed a little bit, and we found something that we really liked and we wanted to document it. Nice. So that's the process. Wow, so he mentioned something about the document. So the, the, the beginning, you play something very nice. So I know I want to know the name of this music. You were created by your own, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me about the story of this music and the name of it. The name of this I will give is like uh, the patience. The patience. Because at the end, you know, whenever like in, why I create this in music is like in our daily life we have we are working through the stress, we are working through the coronavirus, the pandemic. Yes. You know, people are losing their job, they're getting jobless and everything. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, why not create this instrument, this music? So at the end, when we listen to each other. You get calm, you know. You get your stress goes down. So I name as a patience on this one. Nice. Patience, that's so nice to have patience to meet all of those, let's say, earthy demands all around us, all the stress that we are in in the pandemic. So Silas, I know that when you sit together, the music just flows like that. Do you think beforehand about it? Like I said, we just uh, we have a few techniques that we. No. Yes. And Can you when share a little bit of those techniques? <laughs> well, it's exclusive mostly the <laughs> exclusive to us, <laughs> I guess, to all the viewers as well. It's uh, it's mostly the drum thing, you know. It it starts with the rhythm, mm -hmm. obviously, all the time, um, with him, and I follow. Okay. You know, that's how we create the whole uh, synergy. Once we have the rhythm, we introduce the melodic ideas and the differences that we want to portray in the song. How about that's we start <coughs> now, Abdul Aziz? Yeah. A little bit of the drums, and then. Silas will follow. Sure, sure, sure. We'll play something for us. All right, let's do that. What do you think about what they will gonna play? Well, some that was patience, and now I think it's coolness. It's coolness. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, we're gonna play our uh, song "Spell" here. Spell. Yeah. Spell. Okay. Wonderful. Yes. I love the last spell. touch like oh, this. No, no. It's the last touch. Yeah, so this, you start from guitar, yeah. so far. So 
How how long you were starting playing with Ravest? How like uh, what does it give you the motivation to play with this instrument? It was like uh, mm. before because you know, and I, when I play guitar, I was like I always want to explore music to the maximum level, you mm. know, and more into the acoustic, not in electronics. And I was like looking at the Facebook and Instagram, and I found one guy wearing <coughs> like some weird instrument, and I was like, what is this instrument? Mm -hmm. And that time I go to you know website and all because it's mm -hmm. easy to access, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get this one. And when I go to the website, it was like, oh, it is a higher price, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good price, you know. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna. Then what I did, I downloaded my, my iPad. So I downloaded my iPad. So I created music in the iPad, you know. Then, you know, I just started doing the percussion in the tables. Like I keep playing on the tables, where in, anywhere. When I feel the surface over there, I just keep playing on it, you know. <laughs> and slowly, slowly, like I save money on it, you know. I get my support from my family, like you know. I convince them, let's get this one. And I was like, okay. That was, that must be hard. <laughs> yeah, we have. That must be hard. And my mom, like, because mm. as I told you, we are from musical background, yes. so they have a little bit of feeling inside it. So mm -hmm. music can be something. Because when I come here, I have no friend. Through music, I make friends in Korea. Nice. Mm. Th that's why we say uh, all the beginning, if you want to make people, even the airports, every place, just play. <laughs> play always make people gather. Yes, and indeed. And as you just said in the beginning, music is a universal language. You don't need to speak the language. You don't need to tell the words. Just listen and feel. Uh, what I have noticed, Silas, that the sync that you have with Safad and the sound of both, you are playing up and down the rhythm. So when you do that, just comes by that with you, natural. <coughs> yes, um, having an instrument like guitar, definitely there's uh, more freedom yeah. of uh, notes that I can play here. So whatever the instrument cannot, cover, you know, the ravas cannot, cover, it's, it's something that I complement him with. You know, the background melody. So it just, it like you said, it just comes. So the, um, you have, this is a non-electronic guitar. Yes. How about the electronic ones? You said you started with rocks. Yes. So I think that that would be electronic. Yeah. I started loud and heavy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, generally I do. Even my compositions are pretty much uh, oriented towards rock. But when it comes to us, like I said, you know, depending on the collaboration, uh -huh. You have to change your instrument. So yes. if you know the guitar, you can play it electric or acoustic. So it's a family. It's family, yeah. Yeah. It's family of true. instruments. Family yes. instrument, and they start like a long time ago in the home studio. I know people like to hear something about the universal language, which is like the, the fits the soul. So, so I want to ask you something. Did you perform here in Kuwait? I know there's some glimpse about your working. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your performance like live. The performance, I did performance like... I did before, I started with the coffee shops, and like uh, people used to call us like in the small gathering. It was before coronavirus when the life was normal. And even after that, I was, I'm doing like mostly into the yoga events. So it's like sunrise yoga, sunset mm -hmm. yoga, where mm -hmm. people are calm down, and you know, they just want the vibe on it. Yes. It's like uh, when I came in Kuwait that time, like six years ago, I used to be the indoor player, four walls player. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and. There, I meet one friend in my shop. I was working in my place, and I, I meet as a customer, and he was like, uh, he was a photographer. Okay. And the coincidence, like, we born in the same day. He was, you know, the birthday was that, same. That, that, that's good coincidence. Yeah, <laughs> and he was like, do you play guitar or any music? I was like, yeah, I do play music. And he was like, okay, I'm a photographer. Okay, so let's meet up. And we come outside, and I was just doing my guitar stuff and all this, and he's taking pictures. And all of a sudden, he keep liking my music. So he was like... Why don't you come out, out, out outside the wall, you know, okay. where you can explore your talent? Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, that's, and he keep insisting me, come over, come over, come over. And I came over and I keep playing. And, you know, since that time, I started getting gigs. Getting, getting better gigs. and better. Yeah. 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 Amazing, Emil. It is amazing. It's just like the stars have really put all those together so you can start all those. Well, I think, as Abdelaziz always says, Good times runs fast. And we came to the end of this episode with a wonderful ending, Abdul Aziz. Wonderful ending, but there is something else. You already say, I already started playing indoor. Now you are playing outdoor yeah. in the studio live. Sure. We want to listen to something else. We are not satisfied. Sure, no problem. <laughs> so we want to end the show with your music. All right. Let's go. I'll start with this. Go with something. Yeah. What do you think, Emil? Something really soothing. Mm. <laughs>